Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of The Lowdown. Here, I give a quick review of a recent movie that has just come out, and today I'm going to give you all the lowdown on Alita Battle Angel. It is the 26th century, and the Earth is pretty much one giant slum. In said slum, a doctor has found a partially intact cyborg in the junkyard and notices that this cyborg actually has a fully functional human brain that has not been damaged. Thus, the doctor actually rebuilds a new body for the cyborg and names it Alita after his late daughter. Alita claims to not have any memories of her past life. However, when the doctor is attacked by a group of other cyborgs, Alita's you know, hidden talents kick in causing her to defend the doctor and her, having her realize that she has enhanced fighting abilities. Thus, Alita must now use these fighting abilities to protect herself, her friends, against this harsh new world. So, Alita Battle Angel is based off of the 1990s anime Battle Angel Alita. And I am one that prides myself in knowing Japanese anime, particularly from the 80s, 90s, and the late 70s. And I must say that this is one of those animes that I was aware of but never really watched, which is a shame because this has been well adapted. Now, if you're a fan of sci-fi, particularly cyberpunk sci-fi, like in Blade Runner, or if you're a fan of like, you know, old school anime, like anime like uh, Kitao or Kite or Kite, or Bubblegum Crisis, this is so up your alley because this adaptation done by, produced by James Cameron and directed by Robert Rodriguez shows that they actually cared about the source material because this translated so well, it is by far the best Hollywood adaptation of an anime. You got the feel of the universe, and if you're an anime fan but have not watched this, you could see a lot of the anime tropes that were done, and they were done effectively well. The action sequences were awesome. The special effects were done really well that even though there's some CGI areas, this is actually good CGI. In, in addition, a lot, of the, a lot of cultural things that should have been lost were either totally discarded or incorporate in a way that Western audiences can actually understand. This movie is such a love letter to cyberpunk sci-fi and old school anime fans that it is done effectively well. A little too well because while it's done in such a good fashion, it is very much a niche movie and that's the biggest problem because unless you're a, a sci-fi fan or anime fan, you're probably going to be thrown off with how slow some areas really get. And you might find some of the fight sequences, while exaggerated, you might be like, this reminds you of The Matrix a little bit, you know? And so if you don't really like any of that, that could pull you back. Another thing that could actually pull you back from enjoying this is the romance. One thing I love about Japanese anime, when they actually do romances, they do them very well and very effectively that you could be a hetero straight male, you know, macho guy and everything, and still appreciate the the chemistry or the love that comes between two characters. Here, it comes off very much, you know, melodrama, teenage angst, stuff that you would see in Dawson's Creek or in 90210. That said, awesome special effects, awesome action, and an awesome adaptation, you know, Alita Battle Angel is cool. Uh, and I can only give it a cool because, like I said earlier, if you're already a fan of anime and sci-fi, you'll definitely like it. But if you're not, you might not be too keen on it. Agree? Disagree? Please drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave. And on Twitter or Instagram at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when new video loads. You know, now that I come to think of it, I actually want to see either Robert Rodriguez, James Cameron, or even Quentin Tarantino do an adaptation of Mega Man, Kite, or Kitao, or Kite, and Bubblegum Crisis. I would really rather see that, actually. Anyway, this has been Token Day, the Dorky Token Black Guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of y'all later.